Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Dragon Age Inquisition. Right after drinking from the Well of Sorrows. Morrigan drank from the Well of Sorrows. And I wish I had. She just spoiled the fun. It is done. I never had a chance to see how it feels like. This is unfair. I'm pleased to report we won the battle, Inquisitor. When you went through that mirror, Corypheus and his arch demon fled the field. I'm not sure why. What he wanted was no longer within the temple. Perhaps. He spent so long trying to get into the temple, he probably couldn't have helped his forces by that point. Then Corypheus is finished. If he is wise, he will hide and rebuild his strength before he attacks again. He will not hide. You sound pretty certain when you say that. The Well of Sorrows held many voices. And they speak to me now from across the ages. They hold wisdom. Secrets I never dreamed possible. But even they fear what Corypheus has become. Should we fear him more than his army? Possibly. Luckily for you, he has a weakness. The dragon he calls is not truly an archdemon. It is a dragon in which Corypheus has infested part of his being. He doubtless did so out of pride to emulate the gods of old. That pride can be exploited. Kill the dragon, and his ability to leap into other bodies is disrupted. He can be slain. Just kill his dragon? Why didn't we think of that before? There is a way to defeat the dragon, to match Corypheus in his power. The well whispers it to me now. Your help will be required, Inquisitor. Speak to me when you are ready, and we shall begin. But before that, I need to speak with my friends. I'll see to Skyhold's defenses in the meantime. Corypheus died, and then he didn't. That's why he always felt wrong, like he didn't fit inside himself. He wears another man's life. I thought dying was forever. So did I. Corypheia seems to break a lot of rules. But is it him? Is he real? If a man can be dead and then not, could I have saved the real Cole? What happened to him wasn't your fault. His hands were bruised from beating on the wall. It was dark, like the cabinet where he hid to escape his father. His belly hurt like knives, throat cracked dry. He was alone. I pushed through and held his hand. It was all I could do. He said, thank you. What a lovely emo night. Thank you. You're welcome, I guess. Inquisitor, you honor us with your presence. May I bring a sampling of fine cheeses for you and your guests? I don't eat. Well then, just a bottle of a fine Gislaine White to start. <laughs> Please enjoy your meal this evening, your worship. It's gonna be so awkward. <laughs> he saw me. They all see me. I'm glad you've allowed them to. I don't know if I did. I find people when their pain leaves them open. I ease the pain. I leave, they forget. That was enough for me. Now they remember, and I'm not sure... I 
<laughs> Cole? I told you about Reese, the mage who could see me, my friend. My only friend for a long time. Evangeline showed me that Templars could be kind, but even she... Cole, if this is troubling, we don't have to talk about it. Gentle. You watch me walk into darkness over and over, and you always worry. Thank you. But this isn't about them. It's about... When I found out I wasn't human, when I grew, I lost Reese. I lost my only friend. That's why I was scared about letting all these people see me. That's why I laughed. I don't get you, dude. I really don't. You're laughing at yourself? Yes. This world taught me that changing means losing your friends. But now I know that doesn't have to be true. I have enough self to know that what I felt was foolish. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? It's another good step, Cole. I might like being human. What do you think I'll learn next? Suing? Get a job, do something worthwhile, I don't know. You're creeping me out even though you're more human now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh wait, no I'm not. It's just the funniest, isn't it? That creaky old Abelas in Mythal saying the elves weren't destroyed by Tevinter. That's some long dead you're gloating over. Pfft. About time I got mine back. LV elves have shoved victim in my face a million times. Like being sad makes them better than me. Turns out they're not victims. They're the same as everyone else. Assholes. Plus, a big old temple full of demon worshipping lies. Grand, that. So your main takeaway is that elves worship demons? Well, they never call them that, yeah? But that's what it had to be. I mean, it was impressive and all. Makes the Dalish look like tits for living in the woods, but so what? There can't be a bunch of gods, and the Maker. Don't matter how much or little you believe, those don't fit. So call me stupid, but I believe the stuff not made up by dead people who failed. Mithal is a ruin full of demons. I mean, it just makes sense, right? There's so much history there. What if some of it is true? No, now you're stupid. You can't think that because it's stupid. But everything we saw. Why believe it? Because Abelas looked weird. If that's all it takes, Carifi's shit heel is full of lumpy truth. You're not even an elf. Why are you being so damned elfy? I mean, I've dated some right tits, but you're the Herald of Andraste. You keep saying this, you'll sound like an idiot. Is this a fight? Because you're calling me a lot of names. It's not a fight. You can believe whatever stupid stuff you want. I mean, I can like you as an idiot. But maybe the Inquisition expects more? Maybe keep quiet? Right. You want me to be quiet? Set an example. Shut it. <laughs> Charmer. Come on, let's get ready for lumpy. And by lumpy, I mean Kariffy shit, not your bits, because that would be gross. Lumpy bits. <laughs> so yeah, I'm done. Food? Lumpy bits? <laughs> the Temple of Mathal sounds truly astounding. I would have liked to have seen it. You wish. What will you do with the power of the well once Corypheus is dead? I'm not arrogant enough to think it's my decision alone. Whatever happens, we'll do it together. You think to share your power. To avoid the temptation to misuse it. A noble sentiment, but ultimately a mistake. Why? Because while one selfless woman may walk away from the lure of power's corruption, no group has ever done so. I trust my friends. I know that mistake well enough to carve the angles of her face from memory. Why is this so important to you? 
You have not been what I expected, Inquisitor. You have... impressed me. You must not let false modesty allow you to pass your power to someone else. There are few regrets sharper than watching fools squander what you sacrificed to achieve. Forgive my melancholy. Corypheus has cost us much. The Temple of Methal did not deserve such a fate. The orb he carries, and its stolen power. That, at least, we may still recover. With luck, some of the past may yet survive. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you, Solus. We couldn't have done this without you. You are welcome. What happened at the Elven Temple? It's got me thinking. I should go back, shouldn't I? To Tabinta. Once this is done, if we're still alive. All my talk of how terribly wrong things are back home. But what do I do about it? Nothing. How does this relate to the Elven Temple? You encountered ancient elves. A piece of history. Something the Imperium didn't destroy. Maybe my people can atone for what we've done. There is something still left to restore. Maybe not all of us want to, but that could be altered. If you can change minds, so can I. Someone with your impeccable taste could transform to Venter. I hope you're right. You usually are. It might surprise you to know that you're the one who inspired me. You're shaping the world, for good or ill. How could I aspire to do any less? If it means proving that Tevinter can be better, that there's hope even for my homeland, I would do anything. I love you, Dory. It's been quite the momentous day, hasn't it, my dear? We should probably give some thought to the very likely possibility that Morrigan will use her new power against us. Options? What's our plan if she does? Circle records have limited information on shapeshifting. There are mentions of counter spells that may prevent mages from transforming or from reverting to their true forms. I have my people researching these spells now. If they have ever been documented, I'll find them. The pieces are nearly in place. We'll soon strike against Corypheus directly. You've done well. I will be proud to fight alongside you when the time comes. I was pondering who might be divine, and it suddenly occurred to me. Is it so ridiculous for the Grand Clerics to support me? Why shouldn't they? If you were divine, what would you do? Change things. Change everything. No more circles. The mages will be free. The Chantry will accept them as the Maker's children. In fact, it will accept everyone. Elves, dwarves, even Canari. Why exclude them? The Chantry allows our differences to tear us apart, instead of teaching us how we are the same. I think you would make a good divine. I am glad to hear it. Your support may persuade the Grand Clerics to vote in my favor. Justinia wanted the Chantry to grow, but her reforms never took root. She was held back by tradition and was too gentle to force change. I will make that mistake. Uh, what about Cassandra, though? You never know. Justinia might have succeeded if she hadn't been caught in a giant blast of magic. I won't make that mistake either. Justinia thought the circles needed to change. But why stop there? The Chantry alienated potential allies by brutalizing elves and belittling dwarves. If we could bring them into the fold, wouldn't we have peace? There are those who would cling to the old ways, of course. But they will see. I would make them see. <laughs> but I've rambled on too long. I am not divine. Yet. Sounds like utopia, but... Mm. Magnificent. <gasps> Swords and shields? Oh, suddenly... It all makes sense. I now understand the nuance behind elven words. <laughs> the ancient lore reveals patterns I would never have suspected. <laughs> it is exhilarating, the rush of images. 
truth dangling just out of reach. Tell me more. Take the Alluvians. It was always assumed their use was lost after the Tevinta conquest of Arlathan. But the ancient elves had closed all paths to the crossroads long before. They warred with themselves, and the Alluvians were sealed to prevent an enemy from using them to attack. So much is m misunderstood. It would take years to absorb, if I get the chance. I'm pleased I could give you that, at least. <laughs> and pleased I am to have the chance, believe me. Uh, none of which has anything to do with why I asked you here, of course. Earlier, I said there was a way to match the power of Corypheus, Inquisitor, and there is. We must summon Mathal. Sounds like fun. I'm sorry, did you say... Summon Mathal, the elven goddess of justice. Yes. Whatever Mathal was, goddess, myth, or ancient being, the voices of the well say a part of her power lingers on. How or in what form, I cannot say, but that power is exactly what we need. I must go to an altar in the wilderness to perform the summoning, and you must be with me. You don't need me for some ritual sacrifice, I hope. The altar could have a guardian or other surprises, thus your company would be best. Imagine what we will learn, Inquisitor. Some would give their lives to unearth secrets such as this. I never say no to adventure. This is the place? It is. Look for an altar. Ancient, but still standing. Okay, where are the bodies? Bring out the monsters. This thing looks like an arena, by the way. There would be like uh, two or three dragons spawning. There! Do you see it? Is all that remains of the great altar. We few who travel far call to me and I will come without mercy, without fear. Could this actually summon an ancient goddess? We are about to find out. Your companions will need to go elsewhere. Not to worry, if there is shouting, they will hear it readily enough. You know who I am. From High Priest to High Priest, I am the last to drink of sorrows. Come to us, Mithal. Whatever you are, Whatever remains, I invoke your name and your power. Mother. Flemeth? She's alive? Mother? Now, isn't this a surprise? What's wrong? We have been deceived! Now, now, that's quite enough of that. <gasps> what have you done to me? I have done nothing. You drank from the well of your own volition. Then you are Mithal?
<laughs> she is? That's Mythal? You invoke that name so easily. I wonder if you know what it means. I do not understand. How can you be Mythal? Once I was but a woman, crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mythal through the ages ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. Then you carry Mythal inside you? She is a part of me, no more separate than your heart from your chest. You hear the voices of the well, girl. What do they say? They say you speak the truth. But what was Mythal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. A herald indeed. Shouting to the heavens, harbinger of a new age. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. Oh yes, it's Flemeth, all right. If Mithal is within you, why not reveal yourself? And to whom should I reveal myself? To the elves, to everyone. <laughs> I knew the hearts of men even before Mithal came to me. It is why she came to me. They do not want the truth, and I, I am but a shadow lingering in the sun. And you're Mithal and Morrigan's mother? As well as a witch who prolongs her unnatural life by possessing the bodies of her daughters. That's what you believe, is it? I found your grimoire, and I am no fool, old woman. <laughs> Yet here you stand, bound into my service. My daughter ran from me long ago. I've let her be, until now, it seems. Why did Mithal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were what never the hell? meant to happen. <laughs> she was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mythal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged! Alas, so long as the music plays, we dance. We summoned you because we need your help. Against the Magister who grasps beyond his reach. Yes, I know. The voices did not lie, Morrigan. I can help you fight Corypheus. Do you understand, child? Yes. I think I do. Wait! I wish to see who drank from the Well of Sorrows. It has been a very long time. Imagine my surprise to discover it was you. And that is all. A soul is not forced upon the unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. All things considered, Inquisitor, I now wish you had drunk from the well. That was awesome. 
forced to obey your mother, huh? Ouch. What she said is true, at least. I have the answer to your problem. I can match the Archdemon's power when the time comes. All that remains is for you to find Corypheus. Nice! Now, that I didn't expect. So trippy. So cool. I haven't seen Flemeth since um, Origins. We were supposed to kill her, and it was Morrigan's order. Spoilers! Anyway, that'll be all for today, folks. I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Love you guys. Bye-bye!